Maria throws two stones from the top edge of a building with a speed of 15 meters per second. She throws one straight down and the other straight up. The first one hits the street in a time t1. How much later is it before the second stone hits? Hello, welcome to another episode of Physics is Easy with Mr. Jesse. In this tutorial, we are going to solve this problem. So in this problem, Maria throws two stones on top of a building. One stone, or the first stone that she threw, is the one that was just thrown directly down. So this is the first stone. Whereas the second stone was thrown upward. It goes up and then it goes down and then goes straight down this is the scenario of the second stone so obviously the time it takes for the first stone to reach the street should be much lesser or we say t1 should be much lesser compared to the time it takes for the second stone to reach the street because it has to go up first and then before it goes down and now both of the stones were released with the same speed it's just that their velocities are different so for the first stone just write that down for the first stone this one here this one over here the velocity of that is equal to negative 15 meters per second because it was thrown straight down Whereas for this stone here, since it goes up and it was thrown up, the velocity of the second stone is equal to positive 15 meters per second. Now let us analyze further the motion of the second stone. So again, it was released at this point over here. It was released at this point with the velocity of... 15 meters per second now as it reaches this maximum height the velocity of this stone here would be equal to 0 meter per second so again when something is thrown upward at the maximum height the velocity of the object at that point is 0 and then it starts to go down and as it reaches this point here at the point where it was released the velocity of the object now or this stone would be equal to negative 15 meters per second negative 15 big negative because it is now going down and 15 because it has now reached the same point where it was released now if the first stone hits the street at t1 so this first stone here it was released with a velocity of negative 15 meters per second and it reached the ground or its street at time is equal at time t1 therefore if you are going to look at this stone here at this point to reach the street or to reach down it should also take it a time equal to t1 because after all they're both released at the same height and same velocity therefore at this point from here towards the street if this is the bottom of the street then it should also take t1 and and the reason why the second stone will take a longer time to reach the street it's because of this part here because it still has to go up before it would continually fall towards the street so therefore to answer the question how much later is it before the second stone hits so we just have to analyze this motion over here and to do that we have the equation vf minus uh, is equal to vi minus uh, plus gt and we could manipulate this equation so that we have vf minus vi over g is equal to the time and what is this time here this is the time it takes for the ball to go up and then back down that is that time there 
So let us now substitute the values into our equation. So what is our final velocity? Our final velocity for the second stone, so meaning the velocity at this point, should be negative 15 minus the initial velocity or the velocity at this point, at the point where it was released. So that is positive 15, so minus positive 15 divided by g, we could use 10 here negative 10 rather and that should be equal to the time it takes for the ball to go up and then down and this would give us negative 30 so negative 15 minus 15 is negative 30 divided by negative 10 and that is equal to t therefore our time is equal to 3 seconds so this answers the question how much later is it before the second stone hit so meaning the second stone uh, this stone here will reach the street or the bottom of the street after three seconds and that concludes this tutorial always remember physics is easy with mr jesse